YouTube. Today's video was prompted by an article I read a few days ago about how people are still not getting eating disorder treatment on the NHS because they're not skinny enough. Like it's 2016. Why is this still happening? Why are people not getting treatment when they need it just because their BMI isn't 15 or 17.5 or whatever criteria this particular place or doctor decides to go by at that moment in time. I honestly don't even think there's actual criteria from my experience. From my experience, I think doctors just make it up as they go along and be like, oh, you have an eating disorder. Oh, maybe you don't now. Oh, I don't know. You know, they know shit about eating disorders and all they seem to care about, or at least in my experience, and I know in other people's experiences, unless you're, you know, binging and purging is how heavy you are, how much you weigh, what your BMI is. And I think it's so dangerous to tell people they're not skinny enough to have an eating disorder because it's just going to make their eating disorder worse. They're going to feel they're not good enough, especially if it's anorexia that they suffer with or potentially like EDNOS. They're going to feel they're not good enough and they're going to feel they need to lose more weight. It's kind of a catch-22 really. Like you can lose more weight and get help and potentially die or potentially be too sick to ever fully recover or you could just not lose more weight and not get help and try and self recover and you know what do you do in these situations I know a lot of people who are told they don't have an eating disorder because they're not heavy not skinny enough it means their eating disorders get worse and it progresses more and they end up suffering from more health complications because of it and it ends up being hard to recover because of it and it just leads to them more having more problems and it's not okay I think this whole BMI thing surrounding whether you're entitled to treatment on the NHS or not should be completely scrapped I think a better solution would be to go either by body fat percentage because people can be at not a very low BMI compared to like most anorexic. I mean, I know myself and some other people, they weren't at horrifically low BMIs compared to other anorexics or other people with eating disorders who get, obviously get immediately referred to treatment and get the help they need. But their body fat percentage was so incredibly low that they were really physically compromised by it. They got chest pains, they didn't have periods, they felt like headed, you know, low blood pressure. And obviously they could have died very soon. But because their weight wasn't low enough, they didn't they weren't entitled to help or they didn't receive help as soon as maybe they should have but they didn't get it at all and they were kind of left on their own i think another good solution would be a percentage of weight lost because i mean i know people can lie about this and i know it wouldn't be ideal but it's obviously better than the bmi thing because if someone's like lost you know 10 percent of their weight or something that's more in indicative of whether they have an eating disorder than the fact that they have a BMI of 17.5 like someone with a BMI of 17.5 or 15 could just be naturally skinny or they could have some other disease that makes them skinny or and someone who has a BMI of say 20 they could have an eating disorder but because they started overweight it doesn't come across that way in how they look or how their BMI is I mean, overall, I think it'd be better to shift the focus of diagnosis of anorexia and other restrictive eating disorders away from what someone's weight is and away from what someone's BMI is. And I think it would be better to focus more on the mental aspect and ask the patient about how they feel about their body, how they feel about their weight, how like what they eat in a day, what they would do if they gained weight maybe, I mean, maybe focusing on the other signs and symptoms of an eating disorder mentally rather than the physical ones of weight loss because at worst, 
it can cause someone's death because they haven't got the help and at best it's just going to lead their eating disorder to get worse because they haven't got the help at the beginning of the eating disorder. I'm pretty sure on the NHS website when you google anorexia it says something about how early intervention is key and how early intervention is best for best treatment prognosis but the way the system currently is makes it really difficult to get early intervention unless you developed anorexia at you know a BMI of 18.5 or you know towards the lower end of the healthy BMI range it doesn't take into account the fact that people can develop anorexia at any weight and therefore they could be really severely ill by the time they get to a BMI of 17.5 or 15 or whatever the local area goes by and it doesn't take into account the fact that BMI is kind of rubbish anyway because it doesn't take into account muscle mass. Someone could have a BMI of 18.5 and have a really, really, really low body fat percentage, uh, like I did, and not have periods and be really skinny and like genuinely look too thin. Like the same with me when I got to a lower BMI. My BMI didn't necessarily say I was about to die, but by the state of my ribs sticking out and you know the chest pains I think you know I wasn't too far off <laughs> you know so why do we have to treat people going by physical symptoms for mental disorders I think we need to treat people more by the mental symptoms that they face and I know obviously it's kind of difficult because doctors aren't very trained in mental health they're trained in physical health they're trained in science they look at physiological changes in the body rather than you know all that messy stuff up here so I understand it's difficult and I understand why it's the way it is along with the budget for mental health not being very great so obviously not everyone can get treatment and they have to prioritize but I think it does need changing. I think we need a higher budget for mental health so we can make these changes. And I think doctors need to be more sensitive. And rather than saying you're not skinny enough or you're not underweight enough or you don't have an eating disorder because your BMI is in the healthy range or you're only slightly underweight. I think they need to be more sensitive in how they word it so they don't make the disorder worse. Is what I'm trying to say. And I hope I kind of explained this all clearly, but maybe I didn't, and I don't know, but I'll see you in my next video.